everyone, welcome to Lauren's Travels. I am here on the Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas and I am going to bring you with me, show you what the ship looks like, the food, the adventures, everything. I'm so excited. Uh, where should we go first? We have to first check into our muster station to prove we know where to go in case of an emergency. They have us wash our hands before attending the buffet. Very excited to get some food. Uh, our room is not ready yet, so we are gonna enjoy some lunch before we get inside. This is a random buffet and they had tons of options, but we are hungry, so I grabbed the closest thing and diving in now. Hopefully our room is ready after we have our lunch. This is a cool kind of visualization of where everything is at on the ship. They have one of those flow rider machines where you're like surfing. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna do that. Windjammer was where we had our lunch. Um, they have the escape room that we're doing on this cruise. There's a jogging track. There's so much to keep busy with. Um, some, some casinos on board. There's just so much. I'm so excited to see what we'll get up to. Thankfully, our room was ready after lunch. We were on deck eight, kind of in the middle of the ship towards the front. We had a cute little towel animal right when we walked in. Of course, we had a balcony view and I wouldn't have it any other way. You can bring a bottle of wine on per person. So we did that and ordered a bottle of rum to the room. And because we booked through a travel agent, they actually gave us some chocolate covered strawberries for the room. The bathroom is pretty small, but it's there for what you need. I spent so much time on that balcony reading my book. Highly recommend if you're going on a cruise to get a balcony. They were even able to open up our balconies so they could all connect since our whole family was side by side. And they ended up giving us another towel animal, but we only had two for the whole trip. This is what the fifth floor looks like. This is where the party is at. <laughs> So walking through here, I already see there's a jewelry store. Not gonna really get anything from there. And immediately we find the bamboo room. This is where we're going first. This place looks so cute and right up my alley. This is such a cozy little bar. And I love that it's just tucked away from all the madness of outside. <laughs> this is the Royal Zombie. I ordered the on the run and now I kind of see why it's called that. It's in this like resealable pouch. Almost looks like an adult Capri Sun. So cute and it's pink. The bamboo swizzle. We spent so much time in the bamboo room on this cruise that I wanted to share with you all of the drinks we had there. Barnacle and Barrel was our next stop after the bamboo room and this is their English pub. I believe they do have live entertainment here but we were not there for it. However, our whole party sat down and got some drinks. I ordered a Belgium sour which has Crown Royal whiskey, honey, fresh lemon juice, and marmalade. Barnacle and Barrel was a nice spot to sit down with everyone and catch up. I'll show you more of deck five a little later on. So we just checked out the bamboo room and also the Barnacle bar. Um, both were really good. They got us liquored up a little bit. Um, we have our dinner in about one hour. So we're gonna relax in our room for a little and take a look at the ocean because we actually just started moving. So this is really exciting. It feels like we're finally kicking off our trip now that we're not docked at port anymore. <laughs> this is where our main dining room is located. We got the early dinner, so we start at 5.30. Here we go. Wow, look how pretty. Very beautiful chandelier. Here's a look at our menu on night one. We didn't get the drink package and I didn't keep track of all the pricing for our drinks, but we did end up spending less getting drinks separately than the package. The tomato soup wasn't great, but the crab cake was tasty. No complaints on the New York strip or dessert either. I got a key lime pie, my husband had Boston cream pie, and a table favorite was the cheesecake. I took a little lie down because it's a little choppy out here. <laughs> And uh, now we're at the very top floor. It's very breezy tonight. Definitely gonna get some good sleep. I did take some drama meat to kind of help me drift off 
later. Good morning from day two here on the Royal Caribbean's Mariner of the Seas. Last night was very choppy and we were pretty tired, so we ended up just going to bed and calling it an early night. Today is party day. <laughs> we're gonna start off at Perfect Day by Coco Cay. That is their private island that we can dock at. And then tomorrow, I believe, is the Bahamas. And then the rest of the time is at sea. So um, today it's very breezy. I'm gonna kind of show you what I see here from my deck, but I don't know if we'll be able to swim if it's this breezy. So we're currently docked. Um, we actually have another royal ship right next to us. And you could see over there is where all the water slides are. That is where the perfect day location is. We are back at Windjammers because we did not fill out our thing to order breakfast to the room. We're gonna do that tonight. I checked out towels before getting off the boat. Make sure to return them or it's a $25 fee per towel. You can walk or take a tram to get to the island. We just got to perfect day. It is a little bit blustery. I don't know if we are gonna go swimming yet or not, but I think we are gonna get some food today. Check out what there is to see here. As soon as we walk in, we have this really cute water park right behind me. So let's go see what there is to see at perfect day. There's a fork in the road to decide where to go. We took the sandy lane on the right first, past Splashaway Bay, to find a spot at the Oasis Lagoon Pool. The pool was across from Skipper's Grill, making it easy to get lunch. We're at the bar, but they're also setting up for lunch, so I'm gonna kinda show you what they serve here on the island to eat. Here are the drinks that are included, so you don't have to pay extra for these. It looks like we have a fruit and cookie station first up here. And then they've got a little salad bar and sandwich bar area. And this looks like the hot option. So we have burgers, hot dogs, corn, barbecue chicken, tons of good savory options. And it smells really good over here. There's the toppings bar, which is right next door. And that is definitely for some tacos that you can get here with some nachos and salsa. So yeah, tons of options and it's well spread out. So there's tons of room for everyone to have their own space and get their own food. Right next to all of the food that you can pick up is the beach area. They got like a little fountain right down there. Lifeguards in the water to keep everybody safe. We brought our lunch to the pool to try and wait out the winds. This is a look at the adult swim up bar. If you can't find seats, there is also a walk up option just on the other side. Also, there are servers walking around the pool to take drink orders. Some of our family jumped in the pool while we explored the rest of the island. I couldn't go all this way without at least putting my feet in the water, but do you see these waves? I was surprised to see a couple of people swimming. It was so cold. We walked over to Captain Jack's, which had singers entertaining the crowd. We couldn't find a table, so we ordered at the bar before going back on the boat. Perfect day had a lot for families to enjoy, and the food was good from what I tried. If we had better weather, I'm sure we would have done a lot more this day, but it was still cool to see everything. Just got back to the room and this is our cute little towel that we had decorated on our bed. Do you see my hair? <laughs> that is how windy it is out there. Um, very blustery. I didn't get in the water at all. Um, I did dip my toes in for a little bit, but very cold. So I'm gonna take a hot shower and get cozy and see what else we can get up to today. We have a Johnny Rockets on board. I do believe that you pay extra for this and it's not included, but how cute is that? This is the arcade. I love the little <laughs> lights through the, I don't know why I'm getting like total 80s vibes from this cruise, but I love it. Like even these columns, 
Okay, enough with that. Anyways, this is the arcade here. It's actually pretty big. There's no one in it right now, too. I guess because everyone's out at the perfect day. A couple of these I remember from uh, Disney Quest. Jurassic Escape looks cool. Something interesting about this cruise is that they have an ice skating rink. They offer skate lessons, and then you can also just skate, you know, on your own if you already know how. But I think this is kind of cute in here, and I like the neon and everything in here. Plus it feels really good, nice and cool. So if you're on a hot cruise, uh, you can come in here and cool off. So there's a lot of themes about time and like the uh, rotation of the earth. And I think that's gonna play into our escape room that we do later on. So tonight is elegant night and I am not dressing up. I'm a little cold, so I'm gonna go cozy <laughs> for the elegant night. Um, and that's a good thing about the cruise. You don't have to dress up if you don't want to. You can do it at your own pace or speed. Um, so tonight is our second dinner and we're having it in the same location so it's easy to find, but it's a different menu. Um, so I'm gonna show you kind of what the menu looks like for tonight and show you once we get there what the dinner's like. Caesar salad to start. Look at the coconut shrimp. This is the tiger shrimp and what it looks like for dinner. And this is the roasted Caribbean chicken right here. Beautiful. Let's eat up. This is dessert with space. Oh, wiggle, wiggle. Something I did was get one of the dessert options to go and this is a look at their cheese plate it's a little skimping <laughs> so I uh, definitely recommend to get two things one to eat there and one to bring back to your room because you'll probably be hungry the portion size is kind of small for a lot of the meal options after dinner some of our party went to enjoy the live show here's a tiny look at what that was like Our group went in search of the karaoke, which got very crowded, so I recommend going early to grab a spot. You'll need the Royal Caribbean app to create a schedule and to chat with your party while on the ship. You'll also check the app for your menus to plan what you're having for dinner. We traveled during daylight savings time, so they left these cool little cards in our door. So we made the mistake yesterday of not putting out what we want to order for breakfast, so we did that last night. Um, it's just a little paper that you put on the door, and you kind of check off what you want to include. I'm going to show you that paper now, actually. So this is the breakfast menu, um, and the stuff on the left-hand side is continental and included, but if you want to add on anything from the right-hand side, which is like hot items um that is a 7.95 per room delivery so we think it's worth it to avoid the crowd and the stress of the buffet area and instead opt for the breakfast delivered to your room and uh, we did get some stuff on both sides so i will show you what we ordered here are some of the hot options so we have chicken sausage hash browns omelet i think this is the ham and cheese omelet that i got uh, scrambled eggs, two sides of bacon. We just kind of combined it on one plate. Um, I did get cereal and I asked for milk as well because I don't think, you think you do have to ask for everything individually. And then in here we have some of the continental items. I know we've got like bagel, croissant, um, some pastries and whatnot. It is day three and we are docked in the Bahamas and good news is that it's much sunnier and brighter out today than it has been the past couple days. And the Disney Wish is pulling up alongside us and that's their newest ship. It looks freaking gorgeous on board. The Disney Treasure is the next one that's coming up in their new fleet, and that one also looks amazing. There's gonna be a Haunted Mansion bar on board. While everyone is off at the Bahamas, I'm taking this opportunity to take advantage of the pools, 
It's a perfect time. They're not too crowded since a lot of people are off the ship. Adults only area of the cruise is really nice. They have jacuzzis. They have their own pool over there and tons of lounge areas in the shade. Perfect for reading a book and taking a nap. golf course it's called Mariner Dunes we can go check that out it looks like it's up the very top deck lots more seating to be found on the top deck the mini golf area was pretty cute and I love that you can see the ocean right next to you there's also a rock climbing wall and flow rider for some fun activities The youngest in our party loved the swings and the climbing area. Due to winds, I wasn't able to do the sky pad, but it looked really cool, especially at night. Some other ways to keep entertained include water aerobics, and seeing the belly flop contest. The top deck is where you'll find the beautiful sign with the ship's name, perfect for family photos. After some much needed pool time, we're back at Windjammers for lunch. This is a look at what is on deck five. This is the area of the ship where you can plan or talk about any excursions. And here is where you can plan your next cruise and probably get a discount for booking when you're on board. Guest services is also located on this level. So if you have any inconveniences or anything that pop up during your trip, you can speak to them here. The Royal Promenade is what's in between the next cruise booking and guest services. This is where we've been able to find a lot of the cool bars like the Bamboo Room. And they also have other shops here. Past the bamboo room is where I got some ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. The cafe promenade is where we've been able to pick up some slices of pizza. They also have some cold sandwiches in there and some desserts. This is the library, which is kind of like a printing room, like if you need to print a boarding pass or anything like that, but also a quiet room for any reading that you may want to do. The Star Lounge is where we went last night to try and view some of the karaoke. It got very busy in here very quickly, so definitely make it down early before the event starts to grab some seats. This is kind of a look at what it looks like without many people in here. A lot of gold in this room, very gold and black. Playmakers is perfect for sports fans to enjoy a game and some bites. This is their menu, and you can see the prices are pretty reasonable. We got the campfire cookie, which my niece really liked. And we also ordered the Playmakers fries. These fries hit the savory spot with their garlic sauce and Parmesan cheese toppings. Our table also had some onion rings and nachos to split. Deck five is where all the parties are at. This was on 80s night. You can purchase liquor bottles in Port Merchants if you didn't order ahead of time. And right down there is level four and that's where the Schooners bar is that we went to the other night. Um, very pirate themed and fun and with the piano bar. This is the Southern Bell drink that has Buffalo Trace bourbon, blueberry puree, mint leaves, lemon juice, and soda water. Right next to it is the Kentucky Summer that has Buffalo Trace Bourbon, St. Germain Elderflower Liqueur, Mint Leaves, Mango, and Lime Juice, both very delicious. If you're walking down the stairs, you'll see a lot of artwork. They have it almost on every level. I haven't seen a level without it yet. This one is very like Americana Cars, and it does say here uh, who the artist is and when it was created. 
Izumi is here and this is one of the restaurants that you can pay an upcharge to dine at. As you can tell, it's hibachi and sushi that they serve here. Another way to keep busy, the casino. They have this see-through floor when we walk in. It looks very cool. There's a whole like carousel horse in there. Very convenient that there's a Starbucks on board and they have all the new holiday drinks. Deck four is where you'll also find the Starbucks and Boleros, which is another bar that you can visit. On level three now, let's take a look at what's here. Deck three is where you can enter the Royal Theater and it's a very beautiful entrance here. One of the things I like about the uh, calendars is that they show you what times and where things are gonna be. So if you don't have your phone with you and can't look at the app, you can still kind of keep track with these uh, virtual calendars here. We are doing our escape room later today and that is gonna be at the top, level 15. Um, it's right before our dinner at 4 p.m. but they want us to check in at 3.45, so a little bit before it starts. We had a quick look at Ellington's, which is a jazz-inspired bar. It had seats overlooking the ocean and pool deck. The name of the room will be more of a puzzle room. It's made by Puzzle Break Center. And I will give you hints right now. There's no particular order with the clues. Once you've solved them, put it aside. That clue is no longer usable to the next one. The observatorium was $35 per person when we booked. It is recommended for ages 12 and up. We really had to work as a team to solve these puzzles. Our family had a great time working through the room, but I couldn't get over how cool it all looked. We didn't do any excursions off the ship, so for me, the escape room was a great alternative. This is a little tough, to be honest, and we have about 19 minutes left. I think we have about two more puzzles to solve, um, so that we'll have a fifth puzzle for later. We have about two more puzzles to solve, um, so that we'll have a figure in each of these sections here. Yes! Found one more. Twelve minutes left. We got it. Ten minutes left. Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Last. Last. Last one. Let me see. Yes. Whoa. Yes. There you go. Put that in. Right. Right. Yeah. Give them ten minutes. Yes. We did it with nine minutes to spare! For our second to last dinner, the menu was French inspired. The butternut squash was too watery for me, but I tried escargot for the first time and enjoyed it. To me, it tasted like mushrooms. The seafood linguine wasn't my favorite dinner to be honest, but the dessert saved it. I ordered a creme brulee and my husband had a cappuccino cake. My only plan is to lay out and catch some rays because the first part of our trip was very cloudy. So that is my plan. Um, it's about 9.20. Definitely too late to come to the adult only area. Everything was full. So I'm laying up here on the top deck, tons of space, plenty of seating. Close to the pools is the Vitality Spa and the hair salon. Going back to deck five for some shopping. Wait until the last day for tons of sales and promotions. Here's a quick look at more merchandise you can bring home for souvenirs. I've seen prices for about $20, $15. The prices are kind of all over the place, but uh, just some examples of what the clearance prices look like on some of these things. Once again, we will be conducting a helicopter evacuation and disembark one of our guests before continue our journey towards support so yeah they just made an announcement uh we're about to go to our final dinner uh that someone on the ship is really ill and they need to get them off the ship and we've noticed that we can feel the ship moving a lot faster right now so i guess they're getting to somewhere where a helicopter can take that sick person off um it's not really going to affect our trip too much but we can definitely feel the boat picking up speed uh unique experience never had that happen on a cruise before
beef carpaccio for appetizer. Got a little chicken parm, very easy. Got steak over here. And finally trying espresso martini and I really like it. I ended this delicious meal with two desserts, a coffee cream and a hazelnut chocolate cake with ice cream. It really hit the spot. joining me here at the Mariner of the Seas on the Royal Caribbean. We had a really great time. The food was excellent. We had plenty of options for things to do here and I enjoyed my trip. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time on Lauren's Travels. Bye!